Hey, YouTube, today's ghetto video. Nah, I just said we're going to learn from my first experience using the big bad oyster fry daddy. Now, as you can see, I'm using the oyster fry daddy, just the biggest one they had up in Walmart. And as you can see, you can set the temperature controls, um, open a lid. This is actually a timer, you can set the timer to what you want the stuff to cook at. Nice little handle, I'll show you that a little bit later. But let's go ahead and open this lid. Because the oil is ready. Ooh, that smells nice and hot and fresh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken ready. Because I'm making some what I'm making is hot wings. So I got the wings defrosting because they got that glass glaze on them. But the sauce I'm using is this. Bam! La Choy. La Choy. Garlic ginger stir fry. Well, I'm telling you, this <sighs> some serious sauce. You, you see what it say? Wait, let me zoom. Let me tap the focus. Restaurant inspired. I don't know what that means, but you know. And then meanwhile, while I'm doing that, I got the oven heating up to. It's supposed to be, you know, it's counting down the heat up time to um, 475 degrees. As you can see, it's getting nice and hot in there. Because that's how I'm going to, when I dip them in this, the choice sauce, after they deep fry and get that nice hard exterior shell, it's going to be on and popping. So, I'm going to hit y'all back in two and two once I got the chicken ready. going to show you how to drop it in. Make a little ghetto meal. I'm making hot wings and french fries. So, I will holler at y'all. I am back officially in the building. Got my chicken all dried off, ready to go. Now, this oyster thing, you can set the basket up high above the oil and place your food in so you don't, whatever. So what I do is I go ahead and get the glazed one, get the ice off of them, dry them off so they're nice and dry. Place them in a little basket. I'm starting off with eight wings right now. So, yeah, I don't need to see me put each and every piece in. I wish I had that MTV effect where I could like speed up like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. No seasoning whatsoever, because it's going. It would just deep fry off anyway. So why bother seasoning them off the jump? <clears throat> All right, here we go, people. Last piece, last piece. Okay, so now what you do to wipe my hand is you take this bad boy right here. You release that valve, and then you slowly lower them into the beautiful. Wait, you see, you see it, people. And you can close the lid if you don't want it to pop in your face. Well, I don't want it to pop in my face. So I'm going to close that down. Okay, maybe it doesn't close right away. And I'm going to set it to... about... 15 minutes. I'm gonna come back and check on it in 15 minutes. Look how it's frying so beautifully, people. So beautiful. Deep frying. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, the oven is ready, as you can see. It's at 475. Good, good to go. So that's ready for when it come out for the dipping. I'm gonna get the dip sauce ready. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna come back when those rings are ready. Show you how to do the dipping sauce, how to put it in the oven, and we're golden. See you in two and two. Alright, so we got the little choy sauce. Emptied it. What is this about? 12 ounces. Emptied it onto a nice little container. We're going to dip the wings all up in there. And that's going to coat them nicely so that they'll be nice and fried. Now the wings are still frying. Just to show you how it looks, you just pull this little handle right here and then lifts it up. And oh, look at that goody goodness. Yummy, yum, yumsters. Dip that back in the oil. Let that heat up. We've got about 10 minutes to go. Oven is still on bake. Sauce is ready to go. And um, got some good old steak fries. Some good old steak fries ready to be served up nicely as well. I'm going to show you how we drop those in too. Until then, we will holler. All right, here we go. These are the first batch that's dried on the paper towel. As you can see, little oil stains on the paper towel. Dipped and placed. So right now they got that crispy shell with that nice coating of sauce on it. 
Right now, we deep fry my last batch. Look at that beautiful oil. Oh my goodness, I got to smell this chicken. Beautiful looking, beautiful, beautiful. And the cool thing is that this locks in place, so you can kind of shake it and kind of get any excess oil off of it. But those wings are looking really, really, really good, as you can see. It's burning my fingers. Yes, it is. Ouch. But it's not that bad. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how this last batch, how we do this. All right, we're going to take this chicken. Take that chicken. Mm -hmm. Just put on the plate. Now those ones are joined at the hip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fry that in. And we're not finished with the oil yet, so I'm going to leave it on because I'm going to throw the fries in there. I'm going to show you that. But So we like to go ahead and let it, let it dry a little bit. One trick I did learn to help these dry and really crispy is just a small sprinkle of salt. Small sprinkle. Dry them. Place them one, place them two, three, four, five. It's like kids at the pool. Six. Then let them rotate, marinate, traficate, prendragonate, flip, flip. Once again, if you just joined us, you're watching the Ghetto Cooking Network. Forget the Travel Channel, you got the Notorious V Channel. I teach this you everything. Oh, by the way, I'm getting an iguana, y'all. Check it out. I'm getting me an iguana, so you're going to see that in a few videos. Getting a baby one. Um, I'm getting rid of my dog. Yeah, Duchess is it's time to mosey on because we don't have really have time to care for her and walk her and all that other stuff. But iguana is much more easier. So I'm right now I'm reading up on iguanas and how to take care of them. And the cool thing is they eat <clears throat> fruits and vegetables. And then um, they eat the weeds in your yard, and we have weeds in our yard. And they eat, they like love weeds and dandelions. Not not we don't have weed in our yard. We got weeds. Not, I don't know how y'all thinking. I know how YouTube thinks. For shizzle, dizzle, it's a big nap shizzle. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we got those all nice and laid out. And what I like to do is just don't. Drench them, but drizzle. Oh, look at that drizzle, 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 drizzle. All right. So now we open the oven. Place these bad boys in said oven, and we're gonna let them do their thing for about. Let's set the cooking time at about ten minutes. All right, 10 minutes, good to go. Good to go. All right, now let's ready for fries. Let me just kind of get off the cake to finish fries. Again, these are steak fries, my favorite. Just take a few, place them in the bin. Oh, I love steak fries so much. So very much. These are, they remind me of like the bowling alley fries. Like I remember, yeah, I know y'all. If y'all from New York or wherever you're from, the best fries in the world was always the bowling alley fries. Those are the ones you had to have. You know, just, what, wait, what, this one look a little sick. Huh? Let's check that one out. Hold on. Now. Uh, that's just potato skin. Potato skin. Alright, that should be about enough. Hit the unlock. Flat out. Let that cook. I'll be back in soon. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we have the final product. We have our beautiful hot wings. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And our golden deliciousness fries. We can't grab one. Mmm, 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 mmm. 
So this is it. You know what I mean? Stay tuned.